Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. In this video, we're going to show you how to improve your footwork and movement. This is an area of table tennis which many players struggle. Now, I'm not the best person to learn from. My footwork and movement is, hmm, what can we say? Uh, a bit rubbish, as you can see from this footage. So you're going to hear from Charlotte Bardsley. Charlotte has played professionally in Germany and also represented England, both the juniors and the senior level. And Charlotte's got loads of great tips to share. So let me pass you over to Charlotte. The first bit to understand is it starts with the feet. So you need to have your heels slightly off the ground, like raised off the ground. And, and you're, you're, you're on the front of your, your toes. You're, like, you're pushing against the floor. You have a really good contact with the floor. That way you're able to um, spring, spring up and like, push against the floor. Because if you're like, flat-footed like this, how can you move? You're, you're glued to the floor. You can't move. But if you're, if you're like, on your toes, then you're more dynamic, you're more active. And another thing is that because you're on the front of your foot, then your weight is naturally going forward. So you're naturally going forward, you're pushing forward versus if you're on your heels, you're falling backwards. So that's the first um, key thing to remember. Yeah, very good. So the next bit is actually our legs, this area here. Um, firstly, simple thing, you need to have your knees bent. If, you're, if your legs are like locked out or barely bent, you can't move, you're, you're rigid. So knees need to be bent, um, kind of like in a, a low squat position. <laughs> Come on, I can... Oh. <laughs> because moving is dynamic, you're moving parts of your body together. So a lot of people don't realise is how important the, the hip and the pelvis is. Tilt the pelvis outwards and then drive from here forward and then imagine as if you had like a medicine ball, like you would throw it like this, you, you wouldn't throw it like this or like this, you, you throw it like this, and that's how you're, you're playing forehand like this. So it's important that you engage the, the hip area. <laughs> Next, we're moving up the body. Um, it's about the core and the back. The core and the back need to be engaged because you need to be stable. If you're like spaghetti, you can't play because you're so unstable. So your core needs to be engaged, your back needs to be engaged. You, you drive from the legs, you, you tilt the pelvis, and then you turn and rotate together. All of this needs to rotate together. The, the goal is to be in constant motion. Like you want to have constant momentum because then you're naturally transferring the weight. A lot of players, they play, stop, move, stop. This isn't good because you want to be constantly moving because the second you stop moving, it's so hard to get going again. So imagine when people ski, if you've seen people who do down, downhill skiing, when they're skiing, they're constantly pushing off with their weight and then moving back like this. That's how you should try to do it in table tennis. You should play the stroke, push off constantly so that you're in constant motion and then, then the movement becomes a lot easier. Because once you're going, you don't stop really. Another crucial thing to understand is that table tennis is also broken down into macro and micro movements. Imagine we're playing a backhand to backhand rally and the ball, in theory, is coming back to the backhand side. But 
if you watch a video of someone playing back and to back, the ball is always moving here or slightly here. So when we say micro movements, it's literally that small adjustment here to get behind the ball or here. I'm not, macro movement would be like backhand, forehand, but if the ball's kind of like here, you need to adjust slightly to get your body out of the way, like this. So you need to try to move in that way rather than just big movements. It's big and small movements together. <laughs> Some really useful tips there from Charlotte. Now, Charlotte, she's young. Her knees and her hips, they still work, okay? Um, so if you're watching this and you're a little bit older, of course, you may not have the same freedom of movement that Charlotte has. However, there are many tips in this video which I think any player of any age can apply to their game. So the idea of playing on the front of your feet, really important. Charlotte explains that brings the body weight forward. Um, making sort of small movements, micro movements, any player of any age can get into that habit. Trying to use good body rotation for the forehand side Again, any player of any age, this is possible. Thank you very much for watching and a big thank you to Charlotte for sharing those tips and also doing those fantastic demonstrations. I will have plenty more videos coming soon or take a look at one of these other video tutorials.